بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم جی وی ورڈز ویلکم ٹو ویڈیو نمبر 11 آف دا سیریز آن نیو سلیبس میتھمیٹکس ورک بک 1 سیونت ایڈیشن سو ٹل ناؤ وی آر ڈن وتھ کوسچن 1 ٹو کوسچن 10 آئی ایم اسکیپنگ کوسچن نمبر 12 اینڈ 13 بیکاز دیز ٹو کوسچن کمپلیٹلی ریزمبل کوسچن 10 اینڈ 11 سو وی ول بی موونگ ٹو انٹرمیڈیٹ پارٹ اف دی کوسچن دیٹ از کوسچن نمبر 14 we will do part a b and c so if you have watched my videos and you liked them please do subscribe to my channel and share with your friends let's begin the exercise the question so the first question is find the difference between the square of seven and sum of first seven odd numbers now what you have to do is you have to find the difference what do you mean by difference by difference you mean subtraction right subtraction you have to find the difference between square of seven now what do you mean by square of seven that is seven to the power two seven square right and what do you mean by sum of first seven odd numbers that means you have to add the first seven odd numbers so the let's see the first seven odd numbers now for this you must know what do you mean by odd numbers by odd numbers you mean those numbers that are not divisible by two that is one then Three, then five, then seven, then nine, then eleven, and then thirteen. Now see, you have written how many? You have written first seven odd number. That is one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, and thirteen. And what do you get when you solve seven to the power two? That is seven multiplied by seven. That is forty-nine. and let's add these seven odd number because we have to find the sum of the these odd numbers that is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 and when you will add all of these what you will get you will get 49 now what is the question asking you the question is asking you to find the difference between square of 7 that is 7 square minus sum of first seven odd numbers the sum of first seven odd number is 49 right so then that means 49 7 square is 49 minus 49 and it will give you 0 that means the answer for part a is 0 when you found the difference between the first Seven uh, odd numbers and the square of seven, right? Dear viewers, coming to part B, it says is the postage packing comes in the form of a cube with volume of two nine seven nine one centimeter cube. Find the area of one side of the box. Now uh, look for what you need in this question. You actually need the area of one side of the box and what you are given with you are given with the volume of the cube let's write it volume of cube is equal to 29791 cm cube and what you need you need area of cube the box is basically a cube right now area of cube is equal to question mark now what you actually need you need formula for both of these for the formula of volume of cube that is v is equal to s cube and by s you mean side right and for area the formula for area of a cube is s 6s square right so 
for finding the area of cube we basically need s and we are not given with s in the question so how will we find it we can use the first formula that is b is equal to s cube we need s so what we will do we will remove this cube root from f how will we do it we will put cube root on both sides and this cube root will cancel with this cube and you will get cube root of v is equal to s or s is equal to cube root of v now you can find s easily s is equal to cube root of what is v v is given in the question that is 29791 now s is equal to cube root of now you have to find a number such that you multiply it three times and you get 29791 that is you have to find the cube root for 29791 and that number is 31 when you multiply 31 three times you get 29791 so you will write 31 here 31 cube and this cube cancels with this cube root and you get s is 31 right centimeter now you have to find area so we will put this value in the formula for area area of a cube is equal to 6 s is 31 square right now 6 when you solve for 31 multiply by 31 you get 961 and when you multiply 961 by 6 you get 5766 now this is area so the unit will be centimeter square now look at the question again the question is asking you to find area of one side of the box right so this formula is for the complete cube right now cube has six sides right if we just want to find the and find the area of one side so what we will do we will do only a square that is we will write area of one side is equal to only s square right that is 31 square and that is basically 961 let's suppose you had to find area for two sides what you will do you will multiply 2 with s square if for three side 3 is square for four sides four is square for five five is square and for all six sides you have to find six is square that's how you solve for this question now let's solve the final part that is part c when p is multiplied by 585 the product 585 p is a perfect square find the smallest value of p where p is greater than zero so it says when you multiply p by 585 that is when you get the product 585 p and that is actually a perfect square right otherwise only 585 isn't a perfect square so you have to find that value which when multiplied that value is actually p which when multiplied with 585 gives you a perfect square so for this you need to find the prime factorization for 585 that is 5 1 is 5 5 1 is 5 3 is 15 5 1 is 5 and 6 so that means 65 is basically date number which when multiplied by 585 gives you a perfect square let's suppose you do it you multiply 585 with 65 and you can check it it will give you 38025 and well when you will multiply when you will look for a root of 38025 it will be basically a perfect square that is 195 that means when you multiply 195 two times you get 38025 in this way you solve for this question you have to multiply those numbers together 
that are not in pairs in that way it will give you a perfect square i hope so you understood the concepts in this question and if you have any doubts any queries you can ask in the comment box thank you for watching the video take care for yourself allah peace